Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a bit of a different player review. We're going to be taking a look at a bronze Dortmund striker who goes by the name of Emre Moore. So, the Turkish attacker who plays in the Bundesliga has actually got a 64 rated item with 87 pace, 81 dribbling and 63 shooting. He is 5 foot 7 with medium low work rates, left footed with a 3 star weak foot and the nice 4 star skill moves. Now, this was a highly requested player review because people have pointed out that Emre Moore's a bit of a gem on the game. Now your first option for a squad around this guy would be a bronze silver gold Bundesliga team. It features players such as Farman, Jerome Berting, Goretzka and of course a Turkish link up with Chananolu. However I used this bronze player in a slightly more adventurous team. It's a four league hybrid featuring players such as Rui Patricio in goal, Elia Nusi the five star skiller and of course the ones to watch Usman Dembele. So looking at the in-game stats for the Turkish striker you'll notice that his acceleration agility and balance are all standout stats for sure. Playing him on full chemistry with the basic chem style will boost his ball control and dribbling both to 85 which is very impressive for a bronze. However I wanted to hone in on a couple of stats to turn him into a next level bronze. Therefore we went with the sniper chemistry style to boost the dribbling and shooting stats. He now has 90 dribbling and 71 shooting and this includes 95 dribbling in game and 80 finishing on a bronze item. That's insane. So moving on into the clips, it's time to talk pros and cons for the Dortmund striker. Firstly, he's pretty weak, uh, only 51 strength in game. You can't really expect him to be holding off any defenders. You're going to need to utilize his pace and dribbling expertise for sure to get past your opponent. Next up, Emre Moore's weak foot was very poor. Three star in game is not great. And considering he is a bronze item, he's likely to completely sky it if you take shots on that right foot. It's also worth noting that he does only have have 55 stamina in game so I noticed that he was quite tired after the 60th minute. So those are his negatives and there is definitely a reason why I made this player review. There are lots of positives which really show off just how much of a gem this guy is. Firstly his pace. 89 acceleration and 86 sprint speed without any chem boosts is nuts. Next up and possibly the most impressive stats for this guy. Whilst using the sniper chem style he goes up to 85 ball control, 95 dribbling and 99 agility and balance. That's really impressive. These stats are so important because as he's a weak player, he needs to find ways to get around his opponent. He can weave in and out of defenders with ease. And don't forget, he's also got the option to use four star skill moves as well, which adds to the versatility of this guy. His shooting is also pretty spectacular. I actually felt like he's got a better left foot than a lot of gold players I've used. An 80 finishing on a bronze item is just unheard of. But finally, the biggest compliment I can pay to this player is that he just does not feel like a bronze item whatsoever. He most certainly outplayed that rank in my opinion and just felt like a, a high level gold player for me. He was seriously impressive. So there you have it, an absolute gem on Ultimate Team. Hopefully you guys will pick him up and give him a shot. Let me know how you do in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed and we'll catch you next time. Peace.